guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a fall haul and I'm going to be showing you guys some really amazing Dollar Tree finds. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you so, so much for joining me today. My name is Araceli. This is Araceli Chan DIY, where I do a little bit of everything. DIYs, home decor, home improvement, and pretty much everything home. If you guys are into that and are interested in uh, getting to know me a little more, I would love to invite you guys to become a part of the DIY family by subscribing and hitting the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. So today, I am actually going to take you guys to couple of places. I'm not gonna do like a super super walkthrough or anything like that. It's just little bits and pieces. So we're doing a fall haul and I went to Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, and Goodwill. And then I'm also gonna share with you some really cool um, Dollar Tree fall finds. So walking into Joanne's here and I really love seeing all this stuff but honestly I don't ever like paying full price for anything <laughs> so you guys already know we we just went in there to look for the clearance deals um, the sales or whatever I did find this bag of pumpkins for it was 40% off 9.99 so it was about six dollars went ahead and put it in my cart and you guys will see that I'm kind of jumping around here but we are now at Goodwill you guys see this? You guys see this? All right, so um, I'm just finding some nice fall stuff on here. Usually around this time, Goodwill will have all of their seasonal stuff out already. And right off the bat, I saw something that I really caught my eye, and it's something that I saw at Joann's, actually. I really like this watering can. It had a bunch of florals in it, too. But I don't know why I didn't get it. It was only $8.00. I'm really dumb. I actually wish I could go back and see if, if it's in there or not. Um, so here's what's in my car and I will show you guys a little bit more um, here coming up. But now I'm going to go ahead and skip on over to, I think I went to three different Dollar Trees, maybe two or three, but just showing you guys the new fall items that they have. These are new to my Dollar Tree. I didn't have them last year. They have a bunch of different pumpkins. The gray one that you saw was actually kind of heavy. It's nice and it, I don't know, it almost feels like rock. And then these really cute ones also. I feel like their game is definitely being stepped up. Every time I go, there's something new. I actually really like these little decor things. Um, these are more like glass kind of fragile. I feel like if I bring those home, someone's going to get into them and break them. But I found a bunch of these um, like cloth covered pumpkins as well. You guys know these are super popular, or at least they were last year. And then these for someone who's looking for a more glamish look for their fall decor. Um, anyways, just a bunch of pumpkins everywhere. And then they do have some like little decals here. And I also found these. Um, they don't have a lot of acorns, not acorns, um, pine cones in there but they are they do smell really nice it's like potpourri but I did actually buy some at Hobby Lobby that I'll show you guys here in a minute but bunch of new florals also I don't remember seeing these last year maybe I did maybe I didn't I don't know but these right here I I know they had them last year but not in all these different colors I feel like these are really nice neutral colors for those who don't like the really super bright orange and reds in their decor which I usually kind of stay with like the green um I don't always have like the you know like the seasonal colors all around my house but definitely definitely set their game up a lot and then um I do have these in green just like the normal greenery but here's some mm, these are not so much my style just because they have a lot of glitter and it just runs all over the place Anyway, I do feel like Dollar Tree is definitely increasing their selection and florals and greenery and all that. So I'm really excited to see what they have coming up, you know, like in the next year or so. Anyway, we're going to stick with this year. Let's not jump ahead of time. But yeah, all of these that I found or that I'm showing you, I did not see them last year. So pretty happy that there's something new. And my gosh, 
literally bead garlands now when we share any decor with like beads and stuff that's I usually buy my beads on Amazon but for a dollar this is actually a pretty good deal and I feel like these are gonna run out so hopefully you guys get them in your Dollar Trees also now that famous little red truck I don't know why I didn't take some of these home um, I regret it now, but usually they come around Christmas and look at that. They have all sorts of different colors for fall <laughs> What's happening with her head? All right, so our little um, Scarecrow girl has a broken neck <laughs> um, So as you guys can see this was a $3.99 which is actually not super bad for what this is like I actually think it's a really really good deal Oh my goodness! Whoop! <laughs> and they're just about the same height as Milani. Are they so cute? Yeah. Yeah. Hi to me. Yeah. Let me see the number one. Okay, Bella, watch out, girl. All right, so we have this one that was two ninety nine, uh -huh. which I don't get why this one was less than this one because she's broken. Um, but I'll probably just put like a skewer or something in the back so her head sticks up. But, you know, they have their little matching outfits and stuff, and these would probably be a lot more expensive, like, at a retail store. So, oh, and then they have, you know, their little ex accessories and stuff. Does this guy have anything? No, this guy just has his little welcome sign. I think these are going to look really cute um, outside for the fall decor. And then I have this huge thing of garland. I haven't taken it apart yet to see um, how long it is, but... It was $2.99, which I saw some of these when I went to Hobby Lobby, and they were a lot more. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Hobby Lobby sticker is still on here. So um, that was $11.99, and even if I would have gotten it at the 40% off, it would have still been more expensive than what I got it for at Goodwill. So that was a pretty good find. All right, and I just dumped out everything I have in my bag, and I just went to Dollar Tree and bought a few more things that I need for a DIY Bella oh my goodness sorry you guys this is how we got to do our haul today because it's so hot in my garage and um anyway so yeah I got just a few of these pumpkin plaques because I'm gonna do um one a specific DIY and I couldn't find anything like any different shaped um pumpkin things so it's okay I just went with those and then I know they always have these at Dollar Tree but I'm not yeah, it is so cute. Yeah. What is it? Uh, these are pumpkins. These are pumpkins. These are pumpkins. Oh, this is not What is pumpkin. it? A football. Yeah, it's a football. And so they have these yeah. little broom-looking things with a scarecrow. And I first see myself taking this one apart. Yeah. I have an idea in mind. Um, but I'll see if I do that. And I got this fall wreath. Money, hang on, okay? And then I also got this fall wreath at Dollar Tree. The only thing is that they usually have some that are a lot thicker than this. Um, but it's okay. I'm going to actually use these things individually. And then got a wreath thing. All right, and here's another thing I got at Goodwill as well, which is uh, another big pumpkin. It almost looks like a cutting board, but it's not i mean i guess i could take this off and just like redo it this was 4.99 but it was blue sticker day so it was half off and i thought it was actually really cute um i could even paint this over or paint over this and then just do something else um but we'll see i i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do with this one yet but we'll see thank you baby this bag was 40 percent off and it has like nine pumpkins in it so with a $9.99, it was only like six bucks, which, you know, at Dollar Tree, you'll find these pumpkins for a dollar each. So I thought it was a better value to do this instead of buying like the individual pumpkins. And I also showed you guys these uh, pine cones and they do have them at Dollar Tree, but it's like a potpourri type of thing, but they're like in a really small pack. And these were, I guess, if I bought six packs of the ones from Dollar Tree, it would be about the same amount, but. I just went ahead and got these. And then of course, you can't go wrong with some plaid for both uh, fall or even Christmas. But for Christmas, I feel like it's more like the red and black plaid. 
or what do you guys call this? Buffalo check? Whatever I call it, plaid. And that's about it on my haul. I feel like that was a really good deal. This pumpkin was a super good deal. And then these were an amazing deal. You guys, I almost forgot to show you this other thing that I got at Goodwill. Um, it's like a deconstructed wreath, it looks like. I feel like it looks like someone made this. So this was uh, definitely a DIY. Um, it was $3.99, but I like how it has these really big stems of fall florals. So it has one, I don't know, I think it has like four in there. And they're pretty big leaves. They have some nice fall flowers. They have some cute little white flowers on it. Some pine cones, some beads, a pumpkin. Um, so yeah, $3.99 for this thing. So there you have it. When you buy like seasonal stuff, definitely check out the thrift stores. And then also always look at the stores when they have like their big sales for like all the past season stuff so i'm sure that when fall is over um if you guys go to hobby lobby or joann's or wherever they're going to be discounted even more that way you guys can get them now so you don't have to get them next year all right guys we're gonna call it good because i've been in here for like an hour and it's like 98 degrees and i'm hot and i'm <laughs> ready to breathe so if you guys did enjoy this video i would love for you guys to stick around no, that's not what, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, anyway, 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 if you did enjoy this video, I would love for you guys to leave me a thumbs up. Your engagement helps me out so, so much. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns, make sure you leave them down below. <sighs> but most importantly, I would love for you guys to subscribe before you go. All right, guys, see you on the next one.